Have you been wondering how you can apply calculus or how calculus works in terms of finding the area? So now look at this question. Find the area bounded by y is equal to 4 and y is equal to x power 2. Um, I decided to graph this or to put up this graph, okay, so that I don't waste much of my time in uh, answering this question. But all what you need to know is that uh, you just be given this question without a graph, or you might be given the graph or not be, or, or without being given uh, a graph. In case you are not given a graph, the first thing must be to graph. You graph all these two uh, equations. So this one, it's right here. Y is equal to 4. It's passing at 4 here. And this one is a quadratic uh, equation. So it's supposed to go like that. Okay? It's passing at 0. So this is a 0 right here. Okay? Uh, after you've done so, you now calculate the points of intersection. So when I say the points of intersection, I mean right here and uh, right here, where these two lines or these two equations are meeting. So how do we calculate the points of intersection? You just equate these two equations because here we're saying y is equal to 4 and here we're saying y is equal to x power 2, meaning we can say 4 is equal to x power 2. Okay, so the 4 here, since it's equal to y and x power 2 is equal to y, we can equate these two things. So I know by now you are aware, you know how to solve a quadratic equation of this nature. So there are, there are, there are so many ways on how you can solve it. If you want, you can just uh, square root, apply the square root, both sides. So here we shall have a positive or negative 2, which will be equal to x. So this 2 power 2 and the root will cancel. Okay. So here we can say x is equal to 2 or negative 2. So these are the two values of x. So now, why am I solving all this? Why am I doing this? It's because I want to come and find the intersecting points. Okay, so here, this is to the negative side. So meaning here, it's a negative 2. Okay, and uh, here, it's positive what? 2. So I'll say my point of intersecting here is a negative 2, comma, 4. This negative 2, comma, the 4, which is here. For this side, it's 2, comma, a 4. Okay, it's very important. So you need to find the points of intersecting, intersecting. So after finding the points of intersecting, you now introduce the double integral. So you say integral like that, okay? We are now trying to integrate for us to find the area which is bounded by these two equations or bounded by this region can be only can only be found by using a double integral so this is the double integral right here so now after putting up this double integral we have to put the limits here lower limit and upper limit lower limit and upper limit now how do we get to know the lower limits and the upper limits so we start with the inner right here okay so in this case we are supposed to move like this upwards okay if you can see when i move upwards i'm only touching each equation once you see if i move like this or i move like this i'll still touch this equation once and this also once but if i do this i'll touch one equation twice here and this side so meaning we are supposed to move our lower limit must be gotten when we move along the y-axis. This is x-axis. This is y-axis. So we start moving like this. Up. I'm touching this equation. Whenever I'm moving upwards, I'm touching this equation right here. So that equation is what? Y is equal to what? 
x power 2. And then when I move upwards like this, I'm touching now the other one, which is equal to a 4. y is equal to 4. So this is how you get uh, the limits. So um, if you don't understand on how to get the limits, you can uh, leave the comment. I might see if people don't really understand on how to pick up limits from uh, the graph here. I might make a video specifically on how to pick limits. Okay. So now, when we, when we pick the limits, the lower limit, okay, and it must always that you cross this shaded region. So whenever you want to cross this shaded region, which first equation are you touching? It's the y equals to x squared, this one. And whenever you want to move out of the shaded region, you are touching the what? y is equal to 4. And this is how you get uh, the limits. The first equation, lower limit. The second, upper limit. So we're done with uh, the inner integral. Now what about the outer integral? The outer integral, it will change now. Mostly you just go to the points of intersecting. Okay, so point of intersection here and point of intersection here. You get the uh, x-axis here and the x-axis here. That's why we are solving. So we need to get the x-axis here and the x-axis here. So the lower limit is a negative 2. Upper, it's a 2. So going this way, negative 2, and then out here, a 2. So this, we got these limits when we are going along the y-axis. So we're going to say dy. While this, it was when we are going along the what? The x-axis. We're going to say dx, like that. So this is how you put up uh, the limits. So now from, here, uh, from this stage, we can now work out things. We maintain the outer integral because this outer integral is moving with the dx. So we go to the inner integral, which is moving with the dy. So the integral with respect to y here, it will just be a y. Then here, lower limit, it's x squared. Upper limit, it's a 4. Okay? And then we have remained with the dx, which is equal to, here we substitute now, 4 right here. So we're going to maintain the integral. So it will be 4 minus x squared. So we just substitute 4 here minus x squared. And we even put up the dx. So now this time around, we are respecting x. So we're going to say equal to, okay, uh, we integrate here, it will be 4x minus x power 3 over 3. Okay, and then the limits, lower limit, it's a 2. Upper limit, it's a, also a 2. Okay, we now substitute. So we substitute these two right here and here. So we shall have something like this, 4, 2 there, minus here, 2 power 3 over 3. Okay, so we close this one. Then we say minus, we come to the lower limit, we substitute also, it will be 4, negative 2 there, minus negative 2, power 3 over 3, and then we close, we also close like that. So when we work out, we work out what is inside the brackets here, we shall get uh, 16 over 3, minus here, negative 16 over a 3. Hopefully you're able to see. So when we work out everything here, we get this one. Here we we'll get this one. Then we say equal to 16 over 3 plus 16 over 3. This negative or negative will give us a positive. Finally, our answer will be 32 over, over 3 square unit. So this is our area. Our area of the area bounded by this shaded region will be equal to 32 over 3 square unit or units. So this is our solution. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are watching this video on my YouTube channel, remember to subscribe. If you are watching it on my Facebook page, uh, please don't forget to follow. Okay. 
if you are watching it on my TikTok, also follow. Bye-bye.